with Big Maccabee, Pop, and Ginger, and we are here with a little taste of cult merch again. Box came a little beaten to shit, to be honest, but uh, I have contacted them, spoke to them, because I also had a problem with my Big Maccabee, Pop, Ginger box, in which I was sent the wrong box. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're sorting that out for me right now, and they said they'll sort something about this one. Because this is the second box, I just want to point out, not Cool Merch's fault, but this is the second box in a row to come where uh, Parcel Force, for whatever reason, have actually torn holes in the side and torn the actual side of the boxes open, which is not good. But uh, let me just remove this. Hey, hope so this is their uh, last box of 2021, end of 2021 box. What do you want to call it? £15. It's quite weighty and... From the hole in the side, I can see a couple of uh, items inside. But like I said, 15 quid, free postage for this whole thing. So let's see what kind of randomness we got for the end of 2021. Uh, I will be doing a video with regards to my Big Maccabee Pop Ginger box. If one doesn't arrive soon, then I'll just do a video that I was planning of just explaining to folks how I put the box together, what my ideas were, why I chose what I chose, and explained a few things because one thing I will state is that I've seen some videos of folks unboxing them and everyone got the same items. And they enjoyed them, happy days, but I just want to make it clear before I finish this one. When I put that box together, I chose five options for the big stuff and ten options for the small stuff. I chose variety because I wanted to cover a lot of things. So I just want to point out I did pick, I put the mystery into mystery box as best I could with my choices. Unfortunately, something has seems to have changed when they were put together. I don't, I don't know. I can't explain that one. But hey ho. Anyway, let's get back to this here. End of twenty twenty one box. I'm just, I'm opening it slowly. Yeah, right, straight from the very top. This stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the box on the floor, try and tuck my feeties in, and we're going to go bit by bit. So straight from the off, I'm trying my best not to look. We have uh, a couple of prints. So we have a Justice League print, obviously wall art and art prints and things, something that uh, Court Merch is known for stocking in their boxes. And we have a Star Wars print, Stormtrooper, or is that... Uh, Finn. I don't know. Either way, first couple of prints, not not terrible. They're good for a quid or two a piece, usually, I would say. I'm estimating. Well, what's this then? Next random item, a portable silicone liquid bracelet. What the hell does this thing do? Uh, use the needle to make a hole... Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out what the hell it was, but yeah, look, looking at the back, it actually actually has a more practical use than I was expecting. So, basically, what you can do, it would seem at this moment in time, this would be a good thing, is fill this little bottle with hand sanitizer, use that to fill the bracelet, and then you just wear the bracelet, and when you need to, you just squirt. Squirt the bracelet it's got a hole at the end of this thing. And get a little hand sanitizer. Okay. I, I mean, when I pulled that out, I was wondering what the hell uh, this thing is. But actually, that has some practical uses. I like that in boxes. I like that. So, something like that we can use. A couple of quid as well, I'd say. Easy peasy terms. Next thing, pretty basic stationary sets we get in these boxes. Not one I like. Because it's Dragon Ball Z. Not my kind of thing. But... They are a staple in these boxes at this point, so somewhat useful. Again, a couple of quids. I mean, for 15 quid a box, with how much stuff I could feel from the weight is in it, we'll get our money's worth, so no worries there. What's the next thing? Okay, next thing's a Harry Potter pencil case, but that's actually, that's not that's not bad. Have a look at that. It's like, it's like a little mini briefcase bag thingy. 
It's got um, Hogwarts written on it. It's got the, uh, the the emblem with all the houses on. Literally, even even like a mini, feels like a pleather. Yeah, like a pleather bag. Literally, to open it, you open the front like one of those proper posh bags. Something like that. Uh, th that's definitely got more than just your basic basic couple of quid that that's that's probably at least a fiver five to ten pound i would say i would estimate should i say that might retail that i don't know for certain but that's actually that's not terrible it's a pencil case but it's it's something it's a unique styling i like that what's next then okay next we have a keychain sanitizer holder but it's batman i like batman so this this is actually you know, that's actually something I could use. That's that's kind of cool. I I don't mind that too much, to be honest with you. I don't mind that at all. Not too shabby indeed. A few quid on that. Easy cheesy. Next thing out then. Okay, I'm kind of happy and kind of sad to get this. Now, I've already had this in a previous box, but it is the, one of the premium ones. Kind of sad because I've already got it and it's a notebook. But, you know, they've got to fill it with some stuff. Kind of happy though, because my one, originally, came damaged. And this one does not look damaged. So that one comes in good nick. Premium ones like that. Good fiver or so, I estimate. We have a second notebook. Again, stuff like this that I pulled, that I, it's no good to me. I will put in random boxes aside and when i sell my own mystery boxes these kind of things i don't include them in the price i just whack them in for free just just as extras just freebies make it a little different so you'll buy some funko pops and get some random crap too just for fun so this one witcher it's one of the premium ones again so it's like a is that like leather bound looks like a leather bound or clever bound or whatever you want to call it that's cool i know there are a lot of fans of the witcher out there so that would be kind of Kind of cool for them. So now we're going to a couple more notey books. What the hell? We there is actually. I'm having to look, but there are some ra random things in here. Look. Real random. Right? I think I think a couple of things might have broken in here. Only because of uh, the fact I've got like the back to a to a pin, and I have some. Yeah, that's, that's where that's come from. Right, so, this is unfortunately broken, but it looks like it was a Bob Marley guitar pick pin. It's kind of hard to see, but it says Buffalo Soldier. But the back is broken off. And then we have a random Metallica guitar pick. And then we have a guitar pick keychain that just says Guitar Legend Series. Lou Reed seems to have had a, a printed signature from someone called Lou Reed on the back. It's a shame that that pin is broken. That's kind of a cool pin, but um, I don't really know where to put it. I'm just going to put these down there for a second. So that's just something small and random. So what's next? Next thing we have then. Ladybird books for grown-ups, eighty-eight piece mini jig. Oh. <laughs> we're getting we're getting a random miniature jigsaw puzzle in here as well. Oh. I'll be honest, that's different. I've never pulled a jigsaw puzzle from a mystery box before, so that's definitely something different. A, a miniature eighty-eight piece, the hipster, vintage. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Okay. Different. I like jigsaws. I haven't done any in years because I don't have the space for them. But I don't mind a jigsaw. That, that's good. I like that. I don't mind that at all. Random, but I don't mind it. Okay, so now we have a Ghostbusters keychain. Something I did include in my box. And it seems to be the keychain everyone got. Don't mind, you know. I, I don't mind a bit of Ghostbusters. That's a couple of quid right there. What else we got in here? I could feel. Oh. A couple more. So, literally, it seems to have been a whole lot of guitar picks put in. We've got, we have another Lou Reed one from the Guitar Legends series. 
and a Blondie guitar pick. Again, uh, I don't play guitar, so getting five of those makes it's not really any use to me, but they're cool. And I could just chuck them into some other mystery boxes. Right. I have a t-shirt here with a mug inside of it, so I'm just going to get the mug out real quick. Uh, it seems to... Ah, oh, oh, okay. That's from Beauty and the Beast, actually. I actually know someone I could give that to. It's a silhouette-footed mug. I actually know someone that would enjoy that. So, I will definitely be gifting that upon somebody soon. Because that, not too shabby. I can see why it was wrapped in the t-shirt as well, because there's no box on it. So, let's just open this t-shirt up. What's the size on this business? Extra large. When they hit 5XL, then I can start wearing the goodies. Let's have a look, see. Mm -hmm. Actually, not bad. Also, thankfully, I haven't finished Christmas wrapping yet because I can uh, wrap, wrap up as well. Some are kind of random. But i got peeps that I can use that for. That's not bad. I mean, tenors themselves, you know, they're, they're, they're good. T-shirts even. T-shirts are good for a tenor is what I was trying to say. So that's not too shabby there. What have we got here then? Uh, right, so the next thing out from Friends. I do like Friends. It is one of the gift sets, and it is a mug and socks gift set. Now, I don't mind receiving that because, like I say, I am a fan of Friends, and I could do with some socks. So that, not bad. And again, sets like that, retail-wise, they can set you back about a tenner at least. So I don't mind that at all. You know, it fits with the fandom, and it keeps my feeties warm. So that. I can work with, that's good. Right, oh, bugger me, didn't you? There's another guitar pick in here. Oh, dear go. What else we got here then? Someone called James Hep Hepfield. No idea. No idea whatsoever. Right, final thing then. Oh, bugger me, I've just lifted up the last item and there's three more flipping things in here bloody Nora oh, what have we got here then oh okay right we have a <laughs> the broken pin from earlier we have the standard guitar pick version I don't mind that that's cool and then we also have Lars Ulrich and Robert Trilio Trilio Robert fuck knows so we have like 10 guitar picks in this thing Call them a pound a piece, and there you go, there's, there's the box. Right, final item, it's a wall art, it's wooden, and can be hung on the wall, from the mini wood range. I don't mind that, that's some nice shiznit right there. Because we have pulled ourselves the Stay Puffed. That is lovely. That's, that's not bad, you know, for the end of year, oh, fuck me. Turns out there was a tenth. Blondie again. Fuck you. Yeah. Hang on, let me, let me just shake it. Right, we are definitely all out of stuff now. Bloody Nora. That was that, that was a lot of guitar picks. So, just as a recap, we got the Wooden Stay Puffed. And this is all for 15 quid. The Wooden Stay Puffed are about 10 guitar picks. Didn't have that many hands, but happy days. A Friends Mug and Sock set. A pretty decent silhouette Beauty and the Beast mug. T-shirt. Two notebooks. Batman hand sanitizer. Stay puffed. Keychain. Two art prints. 88 piece jiggy saw puzzle. Harry Potter pencil case. Dragon Ball Z stationery set and a silicone jelly bracelet that also can hold sanitizers for additional purpose. Can't say that I didn't get my values worth in this one because I, I got my 15 quid and then I got it again. And given the stuff I got, I would, I would push as fast as say I got it again. 
So I can't complain at this one. It's a lot of random stuff chucked into a box. There's clearly no theme here. And I like that. That's, 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 that's the whole point of mystery. I cannot complain whatsoever. Got some stuff that I don't really enjoy getting in boxes, like notebooks and uh, stationery sets. But given the amount of stuff I got, with how little I paid, no complaints. Because I can use them. Mama needs a notebook. Here you go. I got 50. Mama needs a t-shirt. Here you go. I got 20 spares. Mama needs some pens. Here you go. Got 100 of them. Mama needs a pencil case. Go to the attic. You're going to find 50 of them scattered around. There's always going to be some sort of use. If I can't use it myself, I can give it to someone that can. And that's the kind of stuff. When I pull stuff in a box that I don't need for myself, if I can give it to someone else, I'm happy days. If I have a purpose. And here... Is exactly what I got. So that was everything I had for you in this one, folks. Let me know down below what your favourite item pulled was. Let me know down below if you've actually bought one of these end of year boxes yourself. And let me know down below if it's time for a Merry Merry Christmas, which of course it is. Because by the time I release this video, Christmas will be in like a couple of days' time. But headedly, hiddly, hiddly, hiddly. Oh. Stay safe. Have a good day. And of course, Live that pop fanatic life. Or in this case, that mystery box life. I'll see you in a bit.